Hey guys, uh, today I would like to show you a small yet very powerful uh, program for reviewing pictures and I think this is one of the best programs that you can get and uh, if you if you need to look through a whole bunch of pictures and it will be really easy to to do and uh, I'll show you the options that it has and uh, it's really I think it's the best one I ever used so far to uh, use it as a photo viewer right uh, this program is called Infan View, which is from the from its name you can see it's uh, pretty easy to use. Even Infans can use it. <laughs> so, uh, all right, let's start. So we're just gonna open up a uh, picture. Uh, right now it's set as a default uh, program for reviewing pictures. So what we do, we just open up this picture. So it's open up in this window. It's real easy to open up in full screen. All you gotta do is just press enter, it goes full screen. Then if you wanna uh, escape from full screen to just regular, you just press escape. So that's one real nice feature. It's easy to use once you remember all these keys to use. Um, another thing is uh, you can scroll down the pictures. If you, for example, have lots of pictures you wanna check out and you don't wanna be pressing these buttons here like next file previous file uh, which is really annoying when you have to do that <laughs> pressing the uh, left button all the time on the mouse so yeah instead of that you can just scroll with your wheel and it goes to the next next picture so all you have to do is just scroll down and then it's just going to show you all the pictures uh, so it's and then once you reach the end, it will ask you if you want to use the same folder to keep going, like over and over again. So you just say, yeah, keep going. And then it goes back to the beginning of the folder. So I think it's really easy and really nice to use. Besides that, uh, this program has a lot of features that are really nice. So what you can do is... Uh, you can just press uh, plus on the on the keyboard and it's going to multiply it real easy and then you can use the mouse wheel to go up and down and then minus again i find it's really easy like uh compared to like regular windows uh photo viewer yeah, it's really hard to use it and then you have to always click these buttons here and then you have to use the scroll bars which is really not the easiest way to do it. I think this program has uh, integrated all these features that make it really easy to use. That's why I want to uh, share with you guys about this program because I've been using it for probably over 10 years. This is not the newest program, but I don't think I've seen any better programs for just viewing the pictures as uh, for home user. So next thing is also interesting, you can have this feature here, it gives you all the information about this picture. So you can go do that. And then another thing is like something that I use quite a bit in this uh, program is uh, you have to go, um, you can go like this, you can just uh, choose the area that you like and then you can just press the scissors and it's gonna cut it out and it's gonna copy it so then you can just minimize this you can open up another version of this program just another one and then press ctrl v plus v and it's gonna appear here in the new window so you just cut out the picture that the area that you need and then you just go to file and then you go save as and then you can just save it in variety of different formats like it has incredible amount of formats you can just go BMP like a regular Windows format or you can go JIF or GPEG that's the most common one right so yeah there's a whole bunch of different options then you can choose the compression ratio and like really a lot of features i haven't really used them i only use the gpeg and that's it so but yeah it's really handy 
And the next thing is what you can do is uh, I use this option quite a bit. So for example, so yeah, you can close this and you can go back and press Ctrl Z and it's gonna come back, right? And uh, the next nice feature about this program that I use quite a bit is uh, the image. You go to the image and for example, if you need to resize the image and get it smaller for some reason, uh, if the website doesn't accept uh, such a big picture or if you want to just get it smaller size for because um, you don't need it to be that big you just go to resize resample and here you can adjust the uh, the size of the picture by pixels so these are the 2400 by 1100 52 pixels so you can do like let's say a thousand and it's automatically keeps the aspect ratio to 580 63 so you can also make it in centimeters or inches which I have never honestly done you know mostly do it in pixels and then uh, yeah once you resize it to this size there's a lot of other options or you can just choose for some presetted ones um, yeah, just press OK and then this picture you just go to save it and then after you save it you'll see that the size of this picture so let's just do a comparison here so we'll just go save as and then we're just gonna save it on the desktop okay oops no okay let's just uh save it as yeah we're gonna do like a different name so save as and so now we have we have this picture and we have this one that we just saved so if we go to the properties of this one oh yeah by the way i have the all the Windows is in, is in Russian, so you guys <laughs> probably can't read it, but uh, I, I can, so I'm just gonna say it's the properties right here. Um, yeah, uh, so the original picture was 816 kilobyte, and then if I go to this new picture, it's only 91 kilobyte, which makes a drastic difference if you need to upload the picture to some server that doesn't accept big size even though this is not a big size but uh, that's how easy it is to do it so let's just go here and then another option that I really like about this one you can go rotate the pictures and actually it's really easy you just gotta press on the keyboard you just press an R and then it rotates it it's so easy like if you if you need to do it quick like if your picture is turned you just do press an R and it does it immediately. So you can all, always cha also change the canvas size. So you can like there's really many options you can do. Like compared to like it's pretty powerful for the size of this program. Like it's not big, but yet it has a lot of features. You can do adjust the colors. I use that once in a while just to get a nice uh, like better color on your photos and there's other things that you can use but um, the bottom line is that this program is really small it doesn't take much room on your PC and it's really powerful like it has a lot of features that you can use and you can just you know do a lot of things with it just for viewing pictures and adjusting like the quality and the best thing about it is that it's real easy to use like it's really user friendly and it doesn't take long to figure out how it is uh, to use this program so yeah if you got any questions uh, just uh, leave them down below in the comment section and uh, yeah let me know which uh, which program do you like to use for reviewing your photos and uh, why do you like it and that just be interesting to compare and uh, see maybe I'll do another review for the program that you like but uh, 
it's interesting to see which uh, who is using what, right? So, you ha hope you have a nice day, guys, and uh, see you pretty soon. Thank you. Bye.